Let's go! Dude, finally! Instagram has some updates that are worth talking about, that are worth my time. You guys know I've been very critical of Instagram for a long time, saying these guys do not innovate. These guys do not make positive change to their platforms. But today that's changed, and today I wanna to talk about three major updates that Instagram just made that I think are gonna significantly change the platform, or at least make it better for everybody. So I'm gonna start with the biggest change, which is that Instagram is offering paid verification. That's that little blue check mark. Now you can pay for that. It's not just for famous people with big names, right? Now, this is huge because this is Instagram basically taking a page from Elon's book in Twitter's book where Twitter also had paid verification. Now, right now, before you guys rush out to try and pay for verification or you guys get real angry, let me just say it's, it's being tested right now. So they're testing it in both Australia and New Zealand. They're thinking about rolling it out to the rest of the world if it's successful there, if they get the results that they like. But man, what they've said is gonna come with this is huge. So first of all, you're gonna get creator support, which means if you pay for this, you're gonna be able to actually contact Instagram and Facebook because technically it's a meta verification, but on my channel, we talk about Instagram. But the biggest thing that comes with this verification is that they're promising you're gonna get extra reach and extra exposure. So if you guys are serious about growing on Instagram, you guys are you know putting a little bit of money into courses or into this or that already, this is something that I think is a no brainer for you guys that are taking it serious. If you guys are young kids and you guys don't really have a budget, this might suck for you, but with the price point that they're looking at is gonna be between $12 a month and $15 a month. Now, personally, I think this is an awesome change. I mean, one of the biggest problems with Instagram is that it's so saturated right now, right? Part of the reason that it's so hard to grow on Instagram right now is because everybody and their brother has an Instagram account and they're just spamming the crap out of reels. They're just spamming the crap out of photo posts. And uh, I think by, you know, raising that floor a little bit and saying, hey, if you want to kind of be on this equal playing field, the next level, you have to pay money. I think that's going to stop a lot of that spam. That's going to stop a lot of those accounts that, you know, just constantly posting, trying to blow up. And with that said, I know a lot of people are almost threatened by this. They're almost frustrated. They're like, yo, social media is supposed to be free. If it's not going to be a level playing field, if it's going to become pay to win, what the heck, man? We've been, we've been having Instagram for free for so long, and now you want us to pay monthly. And, you know, the real reason that Facebook is doing this is because their ad revenue is down. They want to find a new way to raise revenue for Meta. But I look at this and go, yo, that's awesome, right? You're basically filtering all the jokers out of the deck and you're saying, hey, the real ones are gonna purchase this. And that's only gonna be a select group that can afford that or that want to afford that. And so for you guys that are serious about growing on Instagram, this is gonna be a leg up, man. Now, the one part of this that I am frustrated with is that so far they're not extending this offer to businesses. It's only being extended to individuals. Basically, individuals put in their government ID and then they can pay for that verification. But businesses can't pay for that blue check mark yet. And I have to look at that and go, why? It's a little bit confusing to me, right? The point of verification is to show authenticity, to show that you really know who you're talking to, that's the real account, that's the real person. And when you look at scams and scamming on Instagram, I think a lot of times that happens when people think that they're purchasing something from a legit business or a legit individual, right? But then it's not actually that person or that business. So I look at that and I go, yo, I think down the road, they'll allow businesses to get verified, but they're not right now. And let me just come full circle and remind you guys, this is only available in New Zealand and Australia right now, and you have to give government ID. So if you guys live in America or elsewhere in the world, we don't have that option yet. Now, this next update is a quality of life change that Instagram should have had for a while, which is that they're gonna allow you to schedule your posts in app. So now you can go into Instagram, when you're about to post something, go to your advanced settings, and you can push out the date and say, I wanna post this five days from now when I'm gonna be in Vegas away from my phone, right? This is something I think they should have had for a while, but it's cool that they're adding it now, right? Better late than never. This is something that we've had to use third-party apps for for a long time, but now you can do it natively in Instagram. Now, this isn't rolled out to everybody yet, so if you don't have it, don't freak out. They're still testing it, but I think this is such a common sense update that it's gonna come to everybody sooner than you think. But if you're like me and you post your posts to multiple social media platforms just outside of Instagram, you can still use a free tool like Metricool, which is gonna allow you to post you know, between your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, Pinterest, all of that ubiquitously from one place. So there still is a purpose for going through these third-party schedulers if you guys are really trying to build out your brand or build out your brands on multiple fronts. So if you guys wanna check out my Metricool, it's gonna be free for 90% of you guys. This is my affiliate link, check that out. And then this third update is gonna be kind of a fun one, which is that Instagram is adding GIFs to their comment sections. A lot of you guys have probably already seen this, but soon they're gonna have it for everybody where you can add GIFs as a comment or as a reaction in comment sections. Now, if you guys don't see this little GIF button next to your kind of comment line or your comment bar, that means you don't have it yet. They're still rolling it out to everybody. 
but I think this is gonna be powered by Giphy and the GIFs on that platform. And I think this will roll out to everybody soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, have a good one, man.